So today we're gonna cover the other two tension points out of the three tension points that I mentioned in the, in the thoracic spine, okay? So we're gonna use Seymour here, turn this guy around, okay? So just for review, tension point number one is at T1, tension point number two, T7, tension point number three, T12. T12. This one is a bear. This one right here. This one's really hard to get to. I'm gonna show you how I adjust that in the clinic, but if you don't have the ability to get someone that has the skill to adjust that, I'm gonna show you how you can loosen it up at home or at the gym. Okay, so first of all, if you have this tension point at T7 and T12, there's a very easy way for a practitioner to free it up. That way you can better use that middle back. Today, I'm gonna show you how I do that. Now, you do wanna make sure you get this done by someone that knows how to do it uh, because you can injure someone if you don't do it properly. So, um, the first one is T7, so, right, I, just count down my vertebral bodies or I can use the bottom part of the shoulder blade, the inferior angle of the scapula, come straight across and I'm at T7. It's a landmark. So with T7, right, I'm gonna hand someone the towel, allow them to grab it, hug it, okay? Now this is for all the practitioners out there, that way you can improve your skills. You roll them toward you, you cup your hand, place it right at T7, drive down, okay? Let me lock that. You drive down, right? So I'm driving my hand down. I'm picking up all the slack in the spine, and then I push down, just like that. Did y'all hear that over there? Yes, good, okay, perfect. All right, so that's T7, that's the second tension point. The third tension point, Okay, it's T12. Go ahead and sit on it. So for T12, this is known as a Texas Throwdown, right? So Texas Throwdown, we put that. Patient's hands right behind the neck. Grab her arms. I find the 12th rib. That tells me that's T12. I invert my hand and I slowly roll her down. Make sure I keep that segment locked. And I push. T12 taken care of. Now let's say you live somewhere out in the country and there's no PT available. I'm gonna show you how to do that on your own. Okay, so let's say you live out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have access to a practitioner or anyone skilled enough that can adjust that tension point. All you need is this power band right here, okay? Good old trusty power band. This is 30 pounds of resistance. You may need more, you may need less depending on your tolerance and your strength. Right, so what you wanna do is you wanna hook that up to the top of something. Grab that band, okay? Now, once you are got that band in your hands, what you wanna do is you wanna push your hips out. That's automatically gonna create traction, okay? So it's actually traction in your spine because you have the resistance of the power band pulling you up and you are dropping your hips back, okay? That feels really good. You can just hold that and you can feel that stretching out, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to lubricate that area and you want to activate the muscles in the area. So keeping your spine as best as possible in this position, what you want to do is you want to pull the band down toward your legs, okay? Squeeze those shoulder blades together and then let that band pull you right back up. Notice that my torso is staying stationary. All right, the only thing moving is my arms and my arms are coming all the way up to the side of my head. You want full range of motion and you also want to squeeze those shoulder blades up at the top. Just like so. Feels really good. I think I'm gonna knock out all 30. No, I'm not. So 
that's today's video, knocking off the other two tension points, T7, T12. I'm Dr. G, Catalyst Physical Therapy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Want to see something or have an idea, leave a comment below. Missed any other episodes? Right here on the top right-hand corner. See you next time.